The translocation is a chromosomal mutation in which a segment of one chromosome transfers into a segment of a non-homologous chromosome. An equal exchange between the two non-homologous chromosomes is called a reciprocal translocation. There is neither a gain nor a loss of genetic material in this type of translocation. Individuals who are heterozygous for translocations still have two copies of every gene, even though the genes may now be located on different chromosomes. The gametes they produce in meiosis may be unbalanced, that is, they may have duplications and or deletions of chromosome segments, resulting in inviolable gametes. During prophase I of meiosis, homologous chromosomes pair. When a diploid cell containing a normal pair of chromosomes and a translocated pair of chromosomes is involved, all chromosome parts attempt to pair the best they can. This produces a cross-like figure with the chromosome arms paired together. In anaphase I of meiosis, there are three possible segregation patterns to follow. The first is alternate segregation because alternate centromeres move to the same pole. After meiosis II, there are two gamete types formed. One type contains a pair of normal chromosomes. The other type contains a pair of translocated chromosomes. Both of these gamete types contain a balanced set of genes and are viable. This type of segregation occurs about 50% of the time in translocation heterozygotes. The second pattern is adjacent one segregation. At anaphase I, adjacent non-homologous centromeres migrate to the same pole. After meiosis II, there are two gamete types formed. Each type contains one normal chromosome and one translocated chromosome. All of these gametes contain duplications of some genes and deletions of others. They are usually inviolable. This type of segregation occurs about 50% of the time. The third pattern of segregation is adjacent two. At anaphase one, adjacent homologous centromeres migrate to the same pole. After meiosis two, there are two gamete types formed. Each type contains one normal chromosome and one translocated chromosome. All of these gametes contain duplications of some genes and deletions of others. They are usually inviolable. This type of segregation seldom occurs. An individual who is heterozygous for a balanced translocation is referred to as semi-sterile due to the fact that, upon fertilization, only one-third of the gametes produce viable offspring.